Hello. Today we're cleaning a beige colored synthetic Berber carpet. Cleaning always begins with a thorough vacuuming using a vacuum equipped with a beater brush. Most of the soil on your carpet is dry and should be removed without water. On the far left of this sectional we can see the homeowner had some bad luck with a chocolate dessert. Each one of these stains needs to be pre-treated with a cleaner made for spots. We'll treat only one today for the purpose of filming. Next we spray larger sections of carpet with a light coating of our general cleaner. Only a small amount is needed and the carpet is never saturated. Now Dirt and cleaning solution is removed with high quality cotton pads. The pads are wet with plain water. A plastic disc is placed between the pad and the rug. By using different sized discs, we control the amount of friction between the pad and the rug. We can vary it from the most gentle agitation to a good hard scrubbing. Our machine vibrates the pad into the rug in a circular orbital motion, which is better for cleaning than a simple spinning motion. Dirt and soap is transferred from the rug to the cotton pad. When we use an encapsulating agent in the cleaner, any trace amounts of dirt or cleaning solution that remain in the rug dry into a brittle crystal, which can be easily vacuumed away. That means we don't leave any soap behind in the rug. Here's the finished carpet. Before and after. There's some flatness due to wear in the center of this carpet area. This is normal for residential Berber rugs which don't hold up well to wear. Now where does the dirt go? Here it is on the right. On the left is a used but laundered pad. On the right is the pad that has just cleaned this small section of carpet. How deeply can we clean the carpet with this method? To answer that, look at this magnified section of a high quality nylon pile carpet. When I move the fibers apart, you can see almost down to the backing. Our cleaning cloth, propelled by our machine in a circular motion, bends the fibers back in the same manner. Thus the fibers are scrubbed on all sides almost down to the carpet backing. The backing itself is left dry. We never saturate the carpet to its base. Our equipment is not designed to work this way. Thoroughly wetting a carpet all the way down to the backing or sometimes further invites many problems including long drying time, mold growth, breeding of dust mites, stretching and buckling of the carpet and other water damage. Thanks for watching and stay safe.